Hey, it's crystal time, and I want to share um, this really awesome piece of amethyst that I got. It's a special order for somebody, so I'm sorry about the tease, because this piece is so beautiful with that giant chunk of calcite in it. Um, isn't that just gorgeous? And I had to share it because it's so beautiful, and amethyst is one of those crystals that does so many wonderful things, or it has so many amazing properties, and I'm pretty sure I've covered amethyst before in videos. I know I did a chevron amethyst video, um, and I think I even did one of the uh, amethyst candle uh, formations. But anyway, amethyst is one of those stones where it, it's just so captivating. It, there's there's something about it that just draws you in and it has a lot of amazing properties and as I've said in numerous videos you know you're going to experience crystal energy the way you're going to experience it but there's a good general consensus on what the different stones do and amethyst is one of those ones that lends itself to um, it well it not lends itself it it uh, has a calming effect and it can be an antidepressive stone. Um, it's also really great as a spiritual stone. A lot of people that are learning to um, appreciate the spiritual side of themselves that, you know, they, I'm gonna put this down because it's kind of heavy too. The, the fleshy case that we're in, this stuff right here, it's, it's not us. We're what's in it, we're that, divine spark that's in all of us which is how we're all connected through that through that divine energy um, or universal energy or God energy or source energy whatever you want to call it amethyst helps you to appreciate that um, so it's you know it's a wonderful thing it's also very healing it's a good crystal if you're trying to break habits they call it it's got a nickname of the sobriety stone that's pretty interesting. And did you know that hematite, um, I happen to have a piece of hematite right here. Hematite is good for compulsions. So if your addictive behavior is also compulsive, you might want to get yourself a piece of hematite and amethyst. But again, you know, what works for one doesn't always work for another, so you need to experiment. But I really just wanted to share this beautiful piece and chat just a little bit about amethyst because I know I've done it before and there's tons and tons. It's such a popular crystal and I think, you know, if you can handle the energies, there's some people that don't like it. Um, you should have one in your in your collection. I should make, you know, maybe I'll do a video about like, like a basic starter kit. Um, heck, if you can get one of everything and there's like, what, over 4,000 minerals out there? <laughs> that would be amazing, but no, there's like, I think there's definitely a bunch of must-haves, and amethyst is on that list, um, at least for me. I don't know if it's because it's just so beautiful or like the energy of it, or both, but isn't it, isn't it nice? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, that's pretty much it. Amethyst is amazing. If you don't have any, get some. If you have some, if you have extra, share it. It's one of those great sharing stones. I don't know if you've ever, like heard of people gifting crystals you probably have I mean a lot of people come in here and they buy a handful of stones just because they know they're going somewhere and they just want to gift them away amethyst is a nice one to gift away also okay that's about it I just felt like uh, sharing that beautiful piece with y'all and um, sorry if I made you jealous because like I said it's a special already order so it's already been claimed but um, yeah <laughs> alrighty go have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.